Hello and welcome to a duel to the death. Okay, you might be wondering what this is about. Well, we guys over at the Adam.de forums decided it would be a pretty cool idea to turn a perfectly single player game into a multiplayer tournament. That sounds pretty retarded, but we've done stuff like that before, and it's always turned out pretty awesome, so I'm hopeful that this is going to turn out just as awesome. Provided I don't die within the next first hundred turns or something, so that's always a caveat. But should I not die, then the tournament is going to play out as follows. It's a six round KO tournament with 28 players. Each players are face off against each putters in pairs, hence the name Duel to the Death. And the goal is to live longer than the other player. Live longer at what is the question? Well, as you can see right now, already at the map, I'm standing at the entrance of the Infinite Dungeon. I'm going to enter the Infinite Dungeon. I'm going to play a thousand turns in the Infinite Dungeon. Within these thousand turns, I have to descend at least one level. Once a thousand turns are over and I have not died, I'm going to turn over the character to my opponent, the dreadful Vogan poet and see if he dies within the thousand turns that come after. If he does, I'm happy. If he doesn't, then I'm going to play again and again until one of us croaks and the other is jumping around with glee. Basically, that's how it is. I'm going to show you the character we're going to play for a second. It's a May High Elven Bard and if you're going to check a bard, you always have to check what skills does the bard have. And this is not the worst skills at ever. It's actually pretty good even, because it contains, among others, the healing skill. And also pretty impressive is the athletic skill, because it gives extra speed and better stats over time. But the presence of the healing skill already makes this one of the easier characters to play as. What this character is notably missing is the swimming skill. Now the infinite dungeon doesn't have a lot of things other than monsters and more monsters and the odd item. But what it can have is rivers. So if I'm going if I'm gonna see a river if I'm seeing a river Well if a river if a river happens, then I'm not going to be able to swim across it. This is something to keep in mind. Being a bard has given me a couple of cool perks. I'm going to check those out right now. Uh, okay, the stuff is pretty basic, even though those are pretty pretty awesome clothes. But what I do have is these pair of worn boots. These are seven league boots. You can get them if you're a bard, if you spend three talents on getting the area. These are going to be pretty important during the challenge. I'm seeing right now that my tinderbox is only two charges, so even though I have four torches, I'll only be able to light two of them. That's not too good. But I guess I'm going to have to live with that, don't I? Now, I'm actually not allowed to do anything else but enter the dungeon right away. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh no, it's a monster already! What am I going to do? Uh, just kidding, that's my pet. I'm a bard, so I have a pet. This one is a Kushu. I have no idea what a Kushu is, but it's my pet, apparently. And the first thing you do with pets is you name them. Well, if you care about them, but... Or if you don't care about them, you can just give them an idiotic name like... Uh... Duns. Yeah. Good name. So... Phew, it's already getting pretty tense. As you can see, this is turn one of the thousand turns I have to play through here. Now, that doesn't sound, seem like a lot, but uh, it's going to rise pretty high. And I already got my first piece of equipment. It's a hooded cloak that improves my armor. It's pretty awesome. And I remember that I'm going to have to switch on my boots. Oh, God. Hey. Those are some pretty awesome 7 League boots I have here. Oh, it's already going well. I found my first item of food. And... Dunce, you lazy fucker, come here. Ah, oh, damn it. Seven league boots. They make you run faster than everything else in the game. But that includes your pets, so they're always going to tell a lag behind. Another thing I could do when I'm playing 
while I'm playing a bard is equip an instrument. Now I can tame animals, hopefully, eventually, before they kill me. And I might just as well try it out against this rat. Or I might just as well kill the rat. No? Cowardly attack. Oh. I might just as well kill the rat and earn the XP for it. Yeah, that's always a good idea. Uh, especially early on, uh, you really have to get the, your HP stat up in, the, in this kind of tournament because first stone block trap, you die. So I'm going to have to look for monsters to kill and can't tame them yet. Luckily, I have 5 PB thanks to my 7 leak boots and awesome clothes, so I'm going to look a long time. Hopefully. Uh, I'm going to die right away after saying that. I'm fighting against this large bat. It doesn't. Ah, uh, it dies, and I'm owning its corpse. Ah, uh, that's the high life already. Hmm. Not too much going on in this level. But I haven't seen much of it yet. And there's a secret door. Oh! Well, well goodbye to a cloak, I guess. Yeah, I'm not going to risk anything. Stay around a bit, heal myself up, and stay around a bit, heal myself up, and uh, as you can see, I'm already approaching 500 turns, so this really isn't a lot. But I have to be careful because if I don't descend by the 1,000 turn, I lose. So, but I guess I will still have time to explore the rest of this level and do some fighting. Now, why do I, why am I still level 1? That is bullshit. 13 experience points. Uh, I guess I can wait for that long. And I have the first level. This is awesome. I'm going to raise my healing skill. Give a couple of points into athletics. Raise healing again. Healing is really important in this challenge. And increase archery. I don't know. Dodge, dodge is a good idea, yeah. And kill another dreadful undead creature and pick up a melon. Melon. Yeah, a male. So I don't have any melons yet. Haven't had until this point. And that was about the worst joke ever made. Where are the monsters? I need something to diffuse this awkward silence with. Oh, this is boring. I'm going to wait for my pet. Come here, you lazy bastard. Lazy asshole. Did I mention that I don't really like playing bards because the pets annoy me to no end? Yeah, I did mention that now, didn't I? Well, I still have 300 turns left. I'm going to descend right away. And, yeah, check out the next level. Yeah, caverns seem to be endless. That's the default message in the infant dungeon. And if you've paid attention to the rules, I can't go up anymore, and my opponent can't either. But luckily, I don't have to go down anymore, too, so that's a good thing. A cobalt to kill, a little giant centipede. 40 experience points left to level 2. Gold. Now, I was... <laughs> I almost picked that pile of gold up, but the fact is, uh, in the infinite dungeon, you won't ever see a shop, so the gold is pretty much useless. And, oh, fuck the sh Oh, man. Now, it's gotten a bit close. I'm almost dead. And I have to... going to have to heal. But luckily, I can outrun any monsters, so I can just outrun them, heal, send Dunce to fight monsters, and, yeah. Good job, Dunce. And wait until my HP is back to max. And, oh, fuck it. Yeah, I accidentally overplayed a couple of turns by reviving. That is very much against the rules. I just hope, well... This shouldn't be too bad because I already descended a level, and basically each turn you overplay gets deducted from the turns your opponent has to play the next round. So this shouldn't be too bad, but... I guess I have to leave that to the judgment of the tournament master. So, that was it. This was the first round of the Duel to the Death of Sylphir versus Rogan Poet. And 
Hopefully I'm going to see you again in the next round of this particular match.